Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. Now, ToyHacks was gracious enough to send me a sample pack of some of their current and upcoming weapons from the ToyHacks Armory. I've got a weapon set here for Rekgar, two guns for Hound, a gun for Springer, a weapon for Ironhide and Ratchet, the Prime Killer pistol, and a basic pistol. Now, as you can see, these weapons are in a variety of different colors and sizes, and they do come shipped in individual baggies. So now let's take a closer look at these Toy Hex weapons with their intended figures. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, the first weapons we're going to look at are the weapons for Rekgar. Now, I'm sure these will work with Studio Series 86 Rekgar, but I don't have him yet, so I'm going to use them with the Power of the Primes version. Now, taking a look at the axe first, all of these weapons are molded after their Generation 1 counterparts, or as close to it as they can get. After all, here is the Toy Hacks Armory Rekgar axe, compared to the G1. So the Toy Hex version has a little bit more length to it. Lots of nice molded details, and these are great. These are molded and cast in resin, I believe, so they're nice and smooth. There's no 3D printed edging on them whatsoever. Very nice, smooth, and durable feeling weapons. Now, my Power of the Primes Rekgar came with this bladed weapon that the Reveal the Shield Rekgar has, and it really doesn't look that good with Rekgar, the Power of the Primes version. So let's go ahead and remove that axe and put that one in his hand, and that looks a lot better. That is more G1 1986 movie accurate. Now let's take a look at the blaster, and I really like this. This one is cast in a deep purple it almost looks copper but that's it's a really real deep purple look and comparing it to the generation one version i mean that's spot on that looks if i can get it hold on there we go that looks great very g1 accurate now, I know that the Studio 86 Rekgar only comes with the axe and not the gun, and this is a 5mm peg. It should work with Studio Series 86 Rekgar. When I get that figure, we will check out this weapon with him, but putting this in the Power of the Primes Rekgar, there you go. That looks 100% better than the weird pole axe that he came with. I Love that. That looks great. So there is the weapons for Rekgar. Next up, we have the weapons for Ironhide and Ratchet. And these weapons, once again, are molded in that nice, smooth resin. You have a long silver weapon right here for Ratchet and a shorter weapon cast in red for Ironhide. Now, both of these weapons are molded after the original weapon, that actually plugged into the battle platform of Ratchet or Ironhide. Now, it plugged right here in the front. The original G1 figure could not wield this as a pistol, but Toy Hacks has fixed that. Now, the Earthrise version did come with a weapon that resembled their G1 weapon, but I think this one looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and remove this from Ratchet's hand and put that in, and yes, much better. And of course, you can take the weapon Ratchet came with, and you could put it in, uh, put it in his other hand, or just plug it right into his back right there. Now, looking at Iron Hides, Iron Hides is shorter on the Toy Hacks Armory. You do have the options, not only for colors, 
but sizes as well. So we got Ratchet with his large pistol, and let's give this one to Ironhide. Pop that in his hand there. I like the metallic red. That really pops. And let's see, since this one's black, let's go ahead. Ironhide, he can dual wield. So there we go. Those look great and very G1. So there we have the weapons for Ratchet and Ironhide. Next, we're going to take a look at the rifles for Hound. And I've got two of these, a large and small one, one cast in a military green and another cast in silver. And once again, these are very, very similar to the G1 weapon. I love that. So we've got Siege Hound right here. Now, Hound here already has one Toy Hacks Armory weapon, his hollow gun. And I love what Toy Hacks did for this. They molded this weapon to look like the G1 cartoon weapon and gave it a holographic sticker. As you can see, the way the light catches that, that looks awesome. Now, I did review this in an earlier review, and I'll link that right up here so you can take a look at that. Now, Hound also has a Toy Hacks shield and decals to really make him pop and i've got a third party missile in his launcher so hound is already all decked out now the weapon he came with doesn't look too bad but let's go ahead and get in his new toy hacks weapon let's put the larger silver one in his hand since that's going to look more g1 and yes i dig it i think that looks really cool i, I love the one he came with but you can't go wrong with that G1 look. Now let's take a look at the shorter rifle with this really cool metallic military green. And yes, I think we have a winner right there. I love that. That is really, really cool. So there you go, guys. There is the weapon for Hound. Next up, we're going to take a look at the weapon for Springer. Now, Springer originally came with this two pistols that could combine into this really, really long rifle that looked nothing like G1 Springer's weapon. So you've got the Toy Hacks one right here, molded in green compared to the original G1. And actually, this time, the Toy Hacks weapon is a little smaller. But man, look at those throwbacks. I love it. So let's go ahead and get this weapon out of Springer's hand and see what the new Toy Hacks weapon looks like. Of course, it's a lot smaller. He's wielding a pistol now, and I like it. I think that looks really good. The green actually matches very well as well. Very well as well. So yeah, I love this. I think it looks so much better than this long double double cannon that he has just to remind you it pops apart so he can dual wield not much detail with those i definitely like the toy hacks pistol a lot better so there you have the weapon for springer next up we have the prime killer pistol i never knew what the original name was for this gun but that's what i call it the prime killer if you remember this is the pistol right here that Megatron shot Optimus Prime with in the 1986 Transformers the movie. I love the detail on this. There was never an official G1 toy or accessory for that pistol, but this looks pretty spot on to what we see in the movie. And now let's see how it looks in the hands of the mighty Megatron. And yes... I dig it. I like that. So you can recreate that scene where Prime or where Megatron is shooting Prime. The handle on this one is a little thick. So I might need to trim that one down slightly. It's it's kind of stuck like that, but still looks really good and can really add to your display. So there you go. The Prime Killer pistol. And lastly, we have what I've been calling the basic pistol cast in a really nice metallic red. Now I reached out to Toy Hacks trying to figure out who this pistol belongs to and they told me that it is a red version of the Sunstreaker pistol. 
Now, I have a pistol or a rifle for Sunstreaker cast in silver, so I decided to give this one to somebody else. We have Netflix deep cover right here who didn't come with a pistol. All he had was the launcher there, so I thought that this pistol would look really good in his hand. So let's check this out. And there we go. I like the looks of that. It just kind of goes with his cop motif, if you will. So there you go. There is the basic pistol with deep cover. I got to give a big shout out to toyhacks.com for sending me these weapons in order for me to put them in front of the camera to show off to you guys. If you're interested in picking up any of these weapons for yourself, just visit toyhacks.com and click Toy Hacks Armory. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And thank you in advance to any brand new subscribers. I'm getting so close to reaching my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. I am less than 300 away. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!